All right, let's say we have here the, wow, we've got it right here. The F5 text-to-speech and so on. And we actually, it's run, but I've told it to stop. What we want is a new language. Basically, we'll go to custom models. In custom models, you'll see various languages like Spanish, German, Russian, Brazilian, Turkish. We've got everything, okay? And of course, different voice models too. Let's say we want Spanish, so we select it. Then we'll go to Files and Versions. We'll get the model. We'd click on this DOS Everton source here. This would be the model's extension. Now, in Pinocchio, we'll go to F5, Text to Speech. We'll go to the Files section. Now comes the tricky part. We click on View folder here. We enter this. Then we go into the Cache folder, HF Home, Hub. F5 models, the models part, we enter snapshots, this folder, then again, here's where we'll put our model. Our model will be where we saved it, it's 1.3 GB. We'd drag and move it here, this way we'd have this new model, now we just hit start. We'd start the console and we're done, it's that simple. So that's it, thanks a lot. Like us, we can use F5 text-to-speech without installing it locally. The process of getting Pinocchio and such might be a bit tedious. Even using it on our own computer or server might be cumbersome, and we just want to test it quickly and be done. There are alternatives like Mimic PC, a platform where we can test it. I'll link it in the description. It offers cloud servers without hosting ourselves, though we need to rent it. But if we really just want a simple test, we can search for F5 TTS text-to-speech and go to the first or second option, the Hugging Face one. Either works fine. We can click try or in hugging face as you see we'll enter this section. There are differences between having it on your computer and online. On your computer you can use any model you want as we see here and clearly there are many more options than online. This is just a demo as it says here but it can still be useful for our purposes and remember if we use this option we're using their servers and software so keep that in mind it's that straightforward hey everyone welcome to a video where i'll show you how to get f5 texture we'll do this using pinocchio and we're going to do it live right now okay this is for windows and it's not really a tool but it makes getting different files easier we know that obtaining Various programs like open source software requires libraries and other elements, which can be a bit overwhelming, right? So it's pretty simple. We'll just follow the process I've been doing, all right? We click here to save. I've saved the theme, though it hasn't updated yet. Now we have the Pinocchio here, and I'd like to check if it's saved on the home screen. I'll remove it and let's search. Let's find an app. Basically, we click on Discovery. Once we have Pinocchio, we might need to reload. We search for F5, enter, and click this button, okay? It should work for you. I'll click on that. We don't have many programs here. I'm a bit confused as I'm working with two at once. I hope they stop if I close it. I hope so. Hmm. There it is. Now we just need to wait, all right? It might take a while, but this way we could have the F5 texture. Now we can just click here without issues and finally hit this blue button. As we can see, there we have it. We now have our Pinocchio, our F5 texture running in the terminal. As you can see, it's running on localhost, okay? Now we can open it if we have enough RAM. If not, well, that's fine too. We can clone our voice using F5 pitch. Basically, we can take a basic text-to-speech clip of our voice in MP3 format, as you can see here, okay? Let me try to play it for you. This is one pitch up. It's better with MP3 and we can trim it, see? We can select just a fragment if we have a longer clip, all right? I'll tell you the minimum we need, okay? I'm not sure if it's shown here. Look, short clips under 15 seconds, got it? Huh? Currently, it works in English and Chinese. People are developing models for other languages too. So we'll just trim it, okay? We have the reference audio and now we'll input text to generate. I'll send what you sent and see how long it takes for one line. All right, there are actually two, and let's see. It's processing. It certainly takes longer than I'd take to say it. Keep in mind, this takes time. So what our computer can process, I should mention there are advanced settings, okay? We can modify the speaking speed, right? We can also remove noise. Basically, the higher quality we want, the more we'd adjust this, okay? This is interesting, and then we'd have the duration of crossfades between audio clips, okay? That is, between words, right? A crossfade is when the sound decreases and then increases again, okay? I think 0 0.15 is good, but you can even set it to 0 if you want. Let's see how the result turned out. Here we'd have a spectrogram, not very useful though. It'd be cool to have a voice band spectrogram, more like this here, you know, with more wave details and such. We have it here, but this doesn't range outside window. Now we can play it. It'd sound much better. So that's how we can clone our voice 
in text to speech. Not much else to configure. How can we select another model within F5 text to speech? Let's say we've finished using our F5 model and want to test with E2 or a custom one. Well, here we have it, okay? We enter F5 or custom and it shows the path where the text being read is located. Remember, we can add a model in files, go to view folder, cache, HF home hub, then F5 models. In snapshots where it says model dot save tensile comma, we can add a model. I already have one, but I'm not sure if it's default or one I added. We can select it and it should be ready to use. Just keep that in mind. As you see here in custom, I have the model I've added. Remember the name it had? Well, do you see the name? Here's the name, 1.2 million, probably parameters, and it says 1.2 million here. This is how we can select different models. We can create a multi-speaker speech podcast or conversation using F5. TTF. Let's go to the multi-speech section where we can upload a reference audio. I'm not sure if multiple, it doesn't seem so. A reference audio. Here it'll explain a bit how this works. This section generates multiple voices by inputting text below. The system uses appropriate voice types. If unspecified, it'll use the default speech for each type. The current speech type is used before any specified type. Click add speech type and we can start selecting. To delete, just click delete here. Here's where we put the name like one click tutorial. If we click insert label, it adds it right there. I'll click add speech and we can add a reference. We'll click add speech type and I'll do insert label. I'll upload a video file. It'd be cool to use a different voice, but we'll use the same one because we're special like that. So we have one voice and another. It'd be nice to grab a different clip. I'll take a different bit so you can notice, even if it's subtle. It might not be very noticeable, but what do I know? Here, we'll name it. I'll use one and two to keep it simple. As you can see, they show us what we can use as a reference. For reference, we can indicate emotions by putting regular in parentheses, prized in parentheses, sad in parentheses, angry, whisper, shouting, and so on. Now we just enter the text. If I put it in parentheses, I'll write surprise and the text insert link. I really liked it. This reference text is just for us to add a note, to give you an idea of what it is. For example, this is one click and this is two click. This name will appear below when we talk to it. Then we click insert label, adding part two. Now we put and go back to the other. That's how we create conversation. The regular option and others are examples of recording audio when angry or sad and sad voices to add variety. Now I'll generate a conversation between two people. You can see it being generated there. Let's see how long it takes. It has completed three processes. Let's see what it produces. It gives us one click. Live, good day. Hello, have a good day. Can quimudgeon.xy2. No air hike only. No thanks. Two no so thanks. One was sent. Okay, go home. Well, it did poorly since the audio is only four seconds. But that's how we can create this multi-stream.